Let's go and highlight that, okay? So mine is kind of stuck here. So I'm going to unhighlight this. Uh, come in, drop a text here, and I will call this dy. Okay, so remember our slope is dy over h. And what we want to do is what happens, observe what happens to h as it gets closer and closer to b. Okay, what you're going to do is you're actually going to have a Word document. So let me just go open this document here. Oh, it's already been generated. Cool. Um, you're going to make a table that's going to look like this. It's going to have one, two, three, four, five rows and one, two, three, four columns. Uh, I take it you guys are seniors and by, the, by this time you probably know Word really well. So make your table look like this. So delta Y is really dy. Okay, Delta Y is dy. So I want you to fill in this table um, by actually um, taking the measurements from the sketch bit and putting it in here. And I'll show you how you do that. Okay. Don't, you don't have to type this stuff out, okay? So let's say if I go delete this, okay? And let me go back to, I'm going to kind of minimize this so that you guys can see what's going on on both the uh, applications, okay? Um, let's say I want to insert delta y, and if I remember right, delta y was, um, just go back and take a look here. Okay, it was AC. Okay, it was AC. So, or CA, either way, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to take this, highlight it, um, copy it. Um, should be able to do a control C. I think that's what I'm trying to do. Control C. Um, come back in here. Come back in here. And do a control V and that measurement should be inserted in there automatically so you don't have to type any of these things in the table okay you should be able to uh, cut things out of your sketchpad document and insert it in this table okay so your exercise is going to be really repeating this work in class using the function uh, fx equals x squared creating this table and then uh, changing the function to x cubed and repeating the whole process getting another table and then make some conclusions about what you see okay one other thing that you will need to know how, what you will need to do is actually in the table you might want to uh, let's go ahead and see if i can insert um, a column here okay go insert a column here um, No, I don't want a table, I want to insert a column. Um, well, you can see that I don't, well, I do know Word, except that um, it's kind of, this is really uh, Office 2007. I'm not totally used to that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to insert a column, and it should help me do that. Um, um, Maybe I need to change the property of the uh, table. Table make it one, two, three, four, one, five, one, one. Okay. Uh, I guess I, I don't quite see how to do it in Word, but you guys hopefully can figure this out and you're better at uh, Word than I am. But what I really want is I want another column out here, okay? And in that column, the heading here is going to be 2x, okay? And you're going to actually go find the x coordinates of uh, the x and y coordinates of the point B. And the way you do that is if you go select that point, okay? Uh, let me go highlight that, go select that point, go measure, and you look at, um, should see, should give you coordinates is what I want. Okay. So something else is selected. Ah, okay, this guy selected. So unselect that. So make sure that you've got only one point selected, which is point B. And if I go to measure, then you want to go coordinates, and it'll show you the coordinates of point B. Now where did they go? Um, measure. 
Let's go somewhere else that I can't see. Point B is out here, then it up here for some reason. So just bring it up here so you can see what it is, okay? So these coordinates are not going to change because the point B is not going to change, okay? Point B is going to stay fixed. So these are your X, Y coordinates. So what you're going to do is in this table that I'm telling you to uh, to create with the another column here, okay? And the column will have 2X as its heading. What you're going to do is you're going to put in uh, uh, the value 2 times 0 0.76 in this particular case all along this table here, okay? And you're going to compare this to what's on here, okay? And try and draw a conclusion from that, okay? See if uh, you can see some pattern or something's happening there, okay? So in this sketchpad activity, you're going to repeat this entire process, but now instead of having fx, you're going to do it with fx equals x, sorry, instead of doing it with x squared, you're going to do it with x cubed, okay? And repeat the same process. And then you will try and hypothesize what the column here should be, okay? I'm going to leave that to you uh, to make your own judgment as to what you think it should be. Uh, because remember, let me just go back and tell you what I really needed. I needed another column here like this, okay? It's going to be labeled 2x. So notice that my function was fx equals x squared. So do you see something here? Do you see something there? I'm not going to give you this conclusion, okay? You've got to draw this on your own, all right? So you're going to repeat this entire process with the function fx equals x cubed and come up with a conclusion, okay? So that's the, uh, the, uh, the, the idea behind this exercise, okay? Uh, it's an investigation. I'm not going to spoon feed you on this, uh, but essentially the idea on this exercise here is to try and understand, uh, you know, the basic tangent line problem that we studied in pre-calculus. And if you remember, the tangent line problem is defined by this process here, okay? f of x plus h minus fx all over h, okay? This was the algebraic process that we did in pre-calculus. So what I'm trying to do in this uh, lesson here is to make it a more visual approach so that you can see what it means to say that h goes to zero. You can see what it means to say that, hey, this is the slope of the secant. And then what happens to the secant as h becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, okay? So you've got to view this uh, before you start the in-class exercise with Sketchpad. We'll probably go to the career center and spend a couple of days there, okay? All right, bye.